major IT trends like the move to the cloud and mobility have changed the nature of business security. They've rendered many of the traditional ways that the bad guys were kept out, like firewalls, rather redundant. They've also made the role of the Chief Information Security Officer much more important than it ever was. I'm Paul Taylor, editor of The Connected Business, and over the next few months, we're going to be looking at the role of the Chief Information Security Officer, the challenges and the opportunities that they face as they try and protect their companies from attack outside and inside. In this first interview, I spoke to Amar Singh, Chief Information Security Officer at News UK, formerly News International. Mr Singh thinks it's important for companies to establish what their crown jewels are in terms of information and to focus their security protection systems on those assets. It used to be you could sort of lock down a business and say, OK, everything's inside the firewall, that's it, nothing outside. But of course today companies are, by their nature, open, open companies and everyone has a mobile device. And it, I guess it must be much harder to patrol the boundaries because the boundaries are open. Very much. I think the boundary is now the human itself and the devices that the human carries. It's no longer about mobile or tablet. It's a combination. You know, and by the time the viewers see this, there'll be so many other smarter devices coming out and they will keep coming out. You know, we have the Google glasses that are out there already. Um, and we have several other technologies that are kind of in the roadmap for many other organizations. So. I think that there is no longer the network parameter, if you want to call it, as we all knew it many, many years ago. The firewalls are just no longer good enough. They're definitely a component. But the convergence, as I said, you know, the, the interesting phenomena that I call oversharing. So the question is no longer, can you stop your employees from sharing, but you have to ask the question to share or to share less, right? right? And to engage your organization, organization and its employees to engage with them rather than instruct them. Uh, engage with them and say, sharing is good, but here are the issues of oversharing. Right. You know. Do you find that within the organizations you've worked for that security has become a bigger issue over the years? I think security is now becoming business security. Okay. Um, it, is, it used to be called IT security, and I think there's definitely a maturity going on in the information security world where many businesses are acknowledging that it's no longer IT security, it's actually information security that applies to the whole organization. The CIOs and other C-level executives, you know, I'm a C-level executive myself, they are recognizing the fact that actually information assurance, information security, protecting the data of the customers. Those kind of issues are no longer only IT security right. related. Do you think it's important that you do have that C-level title uh, in terms of the organization? I think uh, titles obviously are titles, you know, but uh, for a business to recognize and award a title to an individual, such as a CISO, it shows that the business is interested in dealing with those issues, rather than calling it head of IT security, for example. That way you pigeonhole an individual and say, thou shall only deal with information technology rather than the whole business. Right, absolutely. Yeah. Do you feel that the, you know, one feels in a sense that we're always in a race. The bad guys have got their tools, the good guys have got, hopefully, their tools to combat them. Mm -hmm. Are we winning that race or are, are we falling further and further behind? If you know what you're protecting, you can then uh, divert and focus your resources on those most critical assets. So yes, you know, overall, uh, the adversary has unlimited resources, mm -hmm. you know, unlimited skills, and, and organizations are gonna have a, a slight disadvantage. Um, however, if they focus their attention on critical skills. Skills is another you know, issue that we keep talking about. A focus advantage, invest in their people, and also know what they're protecting. And I, I guess the challenge is most organizations don't know where all their crown jewels are. 
you know, and that's where the challenge is. They only find out if something happens in the, in the media and they find out, oh, our crown jewels are now outside of our perimeter, for example. So I think working, working with the whole business, and this is why I think it's very critical to engage every single member of your organization. Emma Singh, thank you very much indeed for being with me. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.